Now then team, right, it's Valentine's Day and I've had a few wines. And they came up with the idea that we'd get we'd get dressed up. Self-isolating in the flat, so why not? I'm gonna put a suit on. She came up with a cute idea, but it's so cute that I don't feel like a manly man. I don't like shit like this. <laughs> it's what she wants to do, it's on Valentine's Day, you know what I mean? And we're gonna reveal that and then continue drinking wine whilst answering some questions and doing a, you know, that thing. I, I shouldn't be, I should not be talking to a camera right now. I'm gonna get dressed. I smell bad. So I'm just gonna put some deodorant on. I bought these shoes when I was coming up on YouTube, getting rich, <laughs> which I'm not at the moment. This is the shoe that I would wear, the Louis Vuitton. Absolute naughty number then. When she came in and suggested the idea that we'd get ready and then surprise each other, I was playing COD with Ash. And I said, be ready by eight, it's five past eight. I've just literally come off a cyber attack. Em, you got shoes on? Oh. We've got Team GB lapel badge, Paul Costello shirt, like custom fit. This is a velvet maroon bow tie. We've got the Gucci belt, we've got top man suit pants because those like are the only best fit for me. Then we've got the obnoxious paint and shoes by Louis Vuitton. I hope she likes it. I've no idea what she's wearing. Let's go see her. Oh my God, you look so nice. You look really nice. I've never seen you look like that before. You look gorgeous, babe. I knew you'd cry. <laughs> Gucci flowery trainers that match the beautiful red dress. Makeup's done fantastic. Curly hair tonight. Cartier bracelet, which is fake. Louis <laughs> <laughs> the Louis Vuitton bracelet's real, the though. The Louis Vuitton bracelet's real. This is what we look like when we're not in training clothes. <laughs> I'm right, enjoy getting dressed up. All right, we're going to film this video. I'm going to cook. Thanks for joining our Valentine's dinner party. Welcome back to Now Wilson's second YouTube channel. I'm here with my girlfriend, Emma McCarthy. It is Valentine's Day and we thought we'd do a drunk video, Q&A video, and a relation test video. Relation test? Relationship, sweetheart. And a relationship test video. You fucking tested it already. So on my Instagram, put this picture of me and Niall, which is mad cute, by the way. I hate and the cuteness of this video. Like, I hate it so much. I'm such a manly man. We're filming a cu couple's Q&A tonight. <laughs> what do you want to know? So we're going to answer some questions. Oh, God. I was ravenously bl brushing my teeth for this video. No. If you could be any type of patio furniture, what type of patio furniture would you be? That's a fantastic question. I feel like I'd be a lounge chair. I like, a lounge chair? Yeah, like a like a sunbed, but that's got the big mattress on it. But people lay on you? Good point. I don't mind being laid on. <laughs> if I'd be a patio furniture, <laughs> I'd be a lantern. Because there's a flame, it lights up the room when it needs to. It stays quiet in the corner and works hard when it doesn't need to. I'm off. See ya. Pretty Liana, what an absolute babe. She's part of the Wilson Air Club. Which one of you is the best at whistling? <laughs> Do you breathe in and out? Yeah. That's impressive. I think I can whistle aloud it. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> that question. was really impressive. Niall can whistle the best there is. When did you know you wanted to have one another? Mm -hmm. Basically, when did you know you wanted to be like, what, like you wanted to be together? You know. Sometime at the beginning of June last year, I needed a place to train and our mutual friend, Joe Penny, he did the video for Niall's documentary. Absolutely. So he did the whole the whole shebang. But I went to school with Joe, so we we're good friends. Anyway, I was looking for somewhere to train and film this music video that I've been asked to do. And he recommended reaching out to Niall and asking if I could train at his gym. And I did. DM'd him and he said I could come train at his gym. So I did, turned up 
and sorry guys and thought shit I'm in trouble and then we had a conversation up in the high bar cafe for like an hour just talking and chatting and we got along really well and then that night me and Joe went round to yours for a beer didn't we and all the boys around there and then he like swung me round into the kitchen and then just started like necking on with me like that's not true a lot of that were true but that's not true I think I obviously was attracted and like connected with Emily very soon. She did come around to the flat, albeit 1am on Friday night after having 12 Morettis. Then we kissed and then that, but like from the lead up on to that, it took me a while to decide whether I wanted to be in a relationship or not. Anyway, he's fucking sick. So I'm saying, Mo. It was the most annoying. <laughs> it's me. What's the best body part of one another? Eyes number one, but it's really weird, but I really like his like torso. <laughs> like all this bit from like here. To well, my waist. Well, yeah, but and, and lower, but like. <laughs> <we're talking. laughs> I think for me, Emily's feet. <laughs> no, it's not. I like your hands. They you said both, that like... early on, oh, that I've got hands. nice hands. If you were to ask my favourite body part of myself, think it'd be <clears throat> Something you learned about, loved and hated while living in the mansion together. Well, I think me and Emily living in the mansion together, for me, that's when I asked her out, officially. First night, bonfire night. It was very early on, but I think I, re I really realised that I just want to be a risk girl. Outside of my and yours relationship, I just think me and the boys learn a lot about each other. It's different living together than it is. Come to grips with it's not just like a Saturday evening when we meet up with each other and have a good time. We're actually living. Mm. And each one of us are very different. I mean, when it comes to sort of keeping the place tidy and clean. Mm. Tetchy moments where it was like... Tetchy moments with the boys being sort of annoyed at you for not cleaning up. People. Maybe we should get Ash and Luke and Joey film a video talking about their experience in the mansion living with us. Basically, me and Niall are both quite messy, aren't we? Yeah. Which works really well for our relationship. Who style love you first? How has the pandemic impacted your relationship? We met in the pandemic. So obviously when we met, it was like last summer and you guys know the rules lifted a little bit. The pandemic has created our relationship. To be know. fair, I feel like if the pandemic didn't happen and everything that's gone on, I would have still been at Cirque du Soleil, still working there every day, traveling the world. That's a hard question because it just, it made us and without it, we wouldn't be sat here right now. When Niall joked about asking you out on a date in the first few videos where you already dating. When we filmed the video, the first vlog, we'd already kissed and slept together. That's naughty, because now people are going to go watch it again and be like, oh yeah. I didn't think that we'd be together when I filmed that video. <gasps> so you just, you just slept with me and just thought. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> what were your first impressions on each other? What were we like when you? What were you expecting? Well, like, be truthful about this. When you were driving there, did you think I was going to be a dick? No, I'd not watched any of your stuff. I'd not watched any of your, vid your videos or anything. And I've been told some from people close to me and kind of close to Niall that, to be honest, that you had a bit of an ego and things like that. That's what I was told. But I am never the type of person to judge someone from what someone else has told me. I will always make my own decisions. To be honest. I wasn't really thinking about you when I turned up at the gym, I was thinking about where my aerial hoop's gonna hang and if it's gonna be a great place for me to train. Yeah, true. But then from after that, when I first met you, I thought you were a genuinely really nice human with a great heart and you had so many qualities about you that I just wanted to know more about. So you took me by surprise, but it was just, obviously you're fucking fit and gorgeous, but it was just your personality, it was Emily's personality. And this girl gets it, like she gets, she's experienced a lot in life that I have as well that not many people can connect with. What is the most important thing in your life right now? Creating a financially stable future myself, something that I enjoy and like my happiness is definitely up there. To be honest, over the last year losing my job and stuff, I felt really lost, not knowing who I am without the circus and that sort of world and I've really struggled and I feel like I'm every day getting stronger and stronger and feeling like I know 
more about what I want for my future because sometimes I felt like so lost and not known anything so a future for myself that is something that I love and that I strive for and last March was really tough and I felt like I had no direction I didn't know where I was going all I'd known I'm getting emotional talking about it because it's really like it means a lot to me but I didn't, I didn't know who I was without Cirque du Soleil and I feel like now I do, so. Why do I get so, I literally cry all the time. I literally cry at like anything, don't I? Don't I can cry. cry at Family Guy. You I did age. when Brian died. <laughs> so the most important thing in my life right now is finding a routine that I feel self-esteem and fulfillment with the things that I'm doing. Anyway, should we stop crying? Favorite position in bed? My favorite position is, I've always been a big fan of Spoon. Yeah, you have. I mean, I don't know about your passport. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a good time, isn't it? What's yours, doggy? What's your ideal home together? I, I bought this flat, which is a, in the city centre, which it was one of my dreams when I was a kid, like to live in the city, and I, I still love it. Everything's on your doorstep. You can obviously, right, not right now, we're isolating in the flat, but it's a pretty cool flat as well. Yeah, like, it's, it's, a, it's a cool flat. I think for me now, I'm ready for a big house. The next chapter of my life, I would love to be able to acquire or buy somewhere like that to then genuinely live with more than just me and Emily. I think we're both yeah. at that stage as well, like we would live with our friends. As YouTubers, how do you balance sharing things about the two of you and keeping stuff private? I've always been as outgoing as I am with people that I know. Put a camera in my face, I cannot talk to it. That was me up until meeting Niall and I still, even when I started a YouTube channel, struggled with it so much, but he really should do it. He said you'd be very successful if you'd you be very it successful. if you enjoyed it. But I just discarded it and didn't do anything. When I met Niall and saw what he was doing and actually you were changing people's lives with the content you were putting out, the message that you had, I thought I've got shit to say that could actually help people and change people's lives too. So. I thought, why not give it a go? In answer to your question about keeping the stuff private, it's been a challenge and it always will be a challenge if you are publicly displaying your relationship online. Unless you like bulletproof in the fact that like, cause we always have to have conversations like this. We are being ourselves, but it's not necessarily real. So in, what I mean by that is taking affirmation for what you guys think of us in our relationship because it can very, very quickly change everyone's mind, change our mindset and change our relationship. Catering to, to you and that's something that I'm like very aware of had very big experience of and like you in the last two months experienced it firsthand and I'm pretty good at like shielding it it's very honest but I'm just trying to be the most transparent person I'm just trying to build a great business inspire you along the way and make you laugh and smile and keep yeah. our relationship off camera the best it can ever be what was your first date like you guys a couple goals we went to cozy club and I got I've got IBS so I had a, an episode went to the toilet for about 25 minutes, emptied my life away. Thank you so much for everyone who sent a question in. No, I hope you enjoyed. By flipping that subscribe button, it is my second channel. It's completely free. You can change your mind at any time. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you I had a great Valentine's Day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, we need to end it now, Emily, because if you have more wine and you keep speaking, <laughs> then we're going to get deleted from YouTube forever. Do you think this will get monetized? Yeah, of course it will. I love you. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Val Valentine's Day, guys. I hope you had a great time. Um... Emily, <laughs> this is my channel. What the fuck?